Praise Lord, let us pray. Abba Father, we thank you for this beautiful day that you have given us today. Even now we are going to read your words. Speak to us to your scriptures and help us to read the words carefully. Fill us with your wisdom and knowledge so that we may understand and grasp all the revelations that you have for us today. Help us to engrave these words that we are reading in our heart and remember on them every day of our life. Be with us and guide us from the beginning until the end. In the name of Jesus I pray. Amen. Now let us read the book of 1 Kings from chapter 8 verses 1 to 21. Then Solomon assembled the elders of Israel and all the heads of the tribes, the leaders of the fathers of the children of Israel, before King Solomon in Jerusalem, that they might bring up the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord out of the city of David, which is in Zion. And all the men of Israel assembled themselves before King Solomon at the feast in the month Ethanim, which is the seventh month. And all the elders of Israel came, and the priests took up the Ark. And they brought up the ark of the Lord and the tabernacle of the congregation and all the holy vessels that were in the tabernacle. Even those did the priests and the Levites bring up. And King Solomon and all the congregation of Israel who were assembled before him were with him before the ark, sacrificing sheep and oxen that could not be counted nor numbered for multitude. And the priests brought in the ark of the covenant of the Lord unto its place, into the inner sanctuary of the house, to the most holy place, even under the wings of the cherubim. For the cherubim spread forth their two wings over the place of the ark, and the cherubim covered the ark and its staves above. And they drew out the staves, that the ends of the staves were seen out in the holy place before the inner sanctuary, but they were not seen outside, and there they are unto this day. There was nothing in the ark except the two tables of stone which Moses put there at Horeb when the Lord made a covenant with the children of Israel when they came out of the land of Egypt. And it came to pass when the priests were come out of the holy place that the cloud filled the house of the Lord so that the priests could not stand to minister because of the cloud for the glory of the Lord had filled the house of the Lord. Then spoke Solomon, the Lord said that he would dwell in the thick darkness. I have surely built thee an house to dwell in, a settled place for thee to abide in forever. And the king turned his face about and blessed all the congregation of Israel. And all the congregation of Israel stood. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who spoke with his mouth unto David, my father, and had with his hand fulfilled it, saying, Since the day that I brought forth my people Israel out of Egypt, I chose no city out of all the tribes of Israel to build an house, that my name might be in it, but I chose David to be over my people Israel. And it was in the heart of David, my father, to build an house for the name of the Lord God of Israel. And the Lord said unto David my father, Whereas it was in thine heart to build an house unto my name, thou didst well that it was in thine heart. Nevertheless thou shalt not build the house, but thy son, who shall come forth out of thy loins, he shall build the house unto my name. And the Lord hath performed his word that he spoke, and I am risen up in the stead of David my father. I am set on the throne of Israel, as the Lord promised, and I have built an house for the name of the Lord, God of Israel. And I have set there a place for the ark, in which is the covenant of the Lord, which he made with our fathers, when he brought them out of the land of Egypt. Amen. Now let us read the revelations from chapter 8. And when he had opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven, about the space of half an hour. And I saw the seven angels who stood before God, and to them were given seven trumpets. And another angel came and stood at the altar, having a gold censer. And there was given unto him much incense, that he should offer it with the prayers of all saints upon the golden altar, which was before the throne. And the smoke of the incense which came with the prayers of the saints ascended up before God out of the angel's hand. And the angel took the censer and filled it with fire from the altar and cast it upon the earth. And there were voices and thunderclaps and lightnings and an earthquake. And the seven angels who had the seven trumpets prepared themselves to sound. The first angel sounded, and there followed hail and fire mixed with blood, and they were cast upon the earth, and the third part of trees were burnt up, and all green grass was burnt up. 
and the second angel sounded and as it were a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea and the third part of the sea became blood and the third part of the creatures which were in the sea and had life died and the third part of the ships were destroyed and the third angel sounded and there fell a great star from heaven burning as though it were a lamp and it fell upon the third part of the rivers and upon the fountains of waters and the name of the star is called wormwood and the third part of the waters became wormwood and many men died of the waters because they were made bitter and the fourth angel sounded and the third part of the sun was smitten and the third part of the moon and the third part of the stars so that the third part of them was darkened and the day shone not for a third part of it and the night likewise and i beheld and heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven saying with a loud voice wo 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 to the inhabitants of the earth by reason of the other voices of the trumpet of the three angels which are yet to sound amen now let us read the gospel of luke from chapter 4 verses 33 to 37 and in the synagogue there was a man who had a spirit of an unclean demon and cried out with a loud voice saying let us alone what have we to do with thee thou jesus of nazareth art thou come to destroy us i know thee who thou art the holy one of god and jesus rebuked him saying hold thy peace and come out of him and when he and when the demon had thrown him down in the midst he came out of him and hurt him not and they were all amazed and spoke among themselves saying what a word is this for with authority and power he commanded the unclean spirits and they come out and the fame of him went out into every place of the country round about amen Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the words that you have given us today. As we read in Luke, Lord, how even the evil spirit and the demon spirit know that how of a great and mighty God you are. Yet you, we are so blessed to be your children. We are the children of the great God, and we thank you for that. In the same way, how you chose Solomon over David to build your sanctuary, we sacrifice our bodies as your sanctuaries. Help us to keep it holy, and you should always dwell in us. We should be worthy enough for. you to dwell in us help us to be holy and purified as you were be with us and guide us and protect us each and every day in the name of jesus i ask amen god bless you